Hello Youtubers, I have some kind of a little announcement for you peeps, yes. Um, basically through various different means I've managed to get my hands on the Toshiba Camaleo S30. Now I had the S20 before, the reason why I didn't put any videos up about it was because I couldn't edit any of the videos, They just, I, they just, I couldn't do it. So I had to send the camera back, and I didn't get a replacement because I just didn't think it would be, you know, worth trying sort of thing. When I heard about the S30 and the fact that the file format was different, I thought it'd be quite an interesting camera to get hold of. Now, obviously, what you see in the um, picture is a bit more smaller than the Kodak's. But it is still quite a good camera. I mean, for example, there's a button on the back and I can press it and it makes everything brighter. And there's a flash. Now, what I've done is um, I've compared it to the Panasonic. I did some low light shots and when you put the back light on, there is a little bit of pixelation here and there, but it does make a huge difference. Now, after I've done this video, I am going to be putting up the um, low light comparison so that you guys can see for yourselves. Um, obviously, the sound is okay and the, the picture quality is relatively okay. Um, this is sort of a, a low ish light situation, it seems to do okay. Um, the zoom is pretty good, it's 16 times zoom. There's shed loads of stuff on this that I haven't even touched on yet. Now, as far as tests go, I'm not really sure how many tests I'm going to be able to do because I'm currently um, involved in another project at the moment. Can't really talk much about it, um, but it is taking quite a lot of my time. I've managed to sort of get some time free to be able to do this video and the low light shots. When I'll be able to do some more tests with the Camelio, I'm not really sure, um, but I will try and get those tests done. But I thought that I would show you what this can do in low light anyway. To be honest with you, it is a good camera, don't get me wrong. I think compared to the like the Play Sport and the Play Touch and maybe even the Panasonic, there are elements of it that aren't quite as good. But then the reason why I got this was because of this project that I'm doing. I needed the side screen to be able to see what I'm doing because I'm doing a lot of green screen in um, in this thing that I'm doing, so I, I've you know I, I need to be able to hook it up to a TV to see what I'm doing. Also, having the side screen has really helped me doing the green screen. So this camera has, has been a real godsend. I have tried to use the Play Touch more than any of the cameras that I've got, but because I can't really see what I'm doing, it has been a bit tricky to do it. So if I can get the test done, I will. As far as this project is concerned, I can't really say much about it at the moment, but I will be putting some stuff up and that will be coming soon. I've just got to finish off some stuff that I'm doing in that regard. So, there's a little bit of spiel about the Camaleo S30. It is quite a good camera. So far I've been really impressed with it and I'm going to be hopefully doing some more tests later on, comparing it to the Panasonic and the Playtouch probably. But I just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on and what I've been up to sort of thing. That's enough from me. And I shall do some more later on. Okay then, bye bye for now.